What is up guys, this is Tito back with another video on the Redmi K20 Pro and today in this video, I'm gonna be flashing the latest Android 11 ROM that I found that includes the G apps and that would be this Dirtface Nightly build. As you can see, it says Android 11 Alpha. Of course, this is not a stable build, but yes, I will flash it on my daily driver device. Here, as you can see, it says G apps download. So that means it is like included with the G apps. So you don't have to flash the G apps separately, I guess. But the ROM file actually here it says 1.4 GB but the actual ROM file is about 1.04 GB and if you want to see the change logs you can see it from here. As you can see there it says fixed brightness flickering bug added Gcam go and then carrier label fix and stuff I guess or carrier configs fix like pardon me if I said it wrong. Here we have added quick setting battery icon sourcing to latest here it says. And if you notice what's not working, it will say that this view Wi-Fi might not work and then some latency issues with the SMS app and then lock screen clock style has some force closes if you want to change it I guess. Then we have brightness flickering while unlocking the device and stuff and that's it. And if you want to see the flashing procedure, it is simple with any other ROM. It is very simplest like method. You just wipe cache Dalvik system data and vendor as well and then flash the latest MIUI 12.03 render and then flash the ROM file and fcrypt disabler and you reboot. That is how simple it is and as you can see if you were already on the Android R or Android 11 based alpha build of the dirt face previously you can dirty flash over that one. So that is very good but yeah this is not the first build of the like specific ROM but I will try to flash it the first time on my K20 Pro. And I'm on the latest Pixel Extended official ROM and if you haven't watched that video, you can watch it from the card right there. And of course, if you are doing it, do it on your own risk. I won't be responsible for anything wrong which happens to your device. Now how I'm gonna flash it, I'll show you now. So right now, let me just reboot to recovery. And if you do not know how to flash the latest Orange Fox recovery, you can click on the card right there to flash latest Orange Fox recovery. I have already done that, so I will just flash like any other ROM and as you can see right now it is booting into my orange box recovery. So if you're coming from MIUI you have to format data of course but I'm coming from a custom ROM and my storage is decrypted. So right now this is what you need to follow. First you back up everything of your storage to a PC or somewhere then you go to wipe which is this one right here and then over here I'll select Dalvi cache system vendor and data these things and I'll swipe to wipe. So that's done. Right now let's go home. Let's go to files and from here I'll go to my download folder and my firmware folder and from here first I'll select this Rafael NN Global 12.0.3. This is an Indian Redmi K20 Pro that is why I'm flashing this firmware. If your device is global or Chinese device, you flash the recommended or specific device specific firmware for your device. I'll select this 12.0.3 firmware here then add to queue. Then I'll select this dirt faced community alpha build. This is the 30th September 2020 build by the way. Then I'll add to queue and let's go over here and I'll also select the if clip disabler. And here I'm not flashing magisk but you can also flash magisk too. And if you want to flash magisk you have to boot once to the UI then you can go back to the like recovery and flash magisk I think. But I'm not gonna flash magisk so let's continue. And I do have that reboot after like flashing is done. So that is why it will reboot automatically after the whole flashing procedure. So let's wait for the time being. So looks like the firmware flashing is done. Right now it's flashing the ROM file itself, which is the Dirtfist 11 community alpha build for Rafael. And this is a nightly build. So the developer has promised to give us update or said that he will give us update on a nightly basis or daily basis that you may call. So that is gonna be really great. So right now it is flashing the fcrypt disabler and it is rebooting automatically because I have that option enabled. So as you can see it shows the me logo. And there we have it. The dark faced boot animation is up there. So looks like it is booting fine. All right. So finally we are into the setup wizard and it says hello over here. And it did detect my SIM card. As you can see, I can see the like network over here of my SIM card and it says English India so it detected the SIM card pretty sure. Now let me connect to my Wi-Fi and now it says copy apps and data. So as you can see th this backup shows up over here and if you have no idea how to do this Google app data backup and restore it you can click on the card right here 
and of course this is how to restore it but to do this backup if it's not working for you we can click on the card right there to fix that problem of this google app data backup and right now i'm going to just select this which i like backed up from the pixel extended rom and i have to enter the pin for that so let me just do that now i'll have to enter a pin so i'll just do that so it did not ask me for setting up any fingerprint so let's do that later so here we go it did back up everything so it is restoring right now as you can see it says completing setup so i'll just go to the settings right now to show you guys the settings panel of course and this is how it looks like let me actually disable the dark theme so that you guys can see it better and this is how the quick setting panel looks like pretty similar to android 10 i would say but yes this like there is notification and then silent notifications so yeah there is separation over here on the notification panel and here inside android version as you can see we have the Durface logo up top there and the android version of course shows as android 11 and if i do this and as you can see we have this android 11 kind of thing and yep it is android 11 pretty much of course let me go back from here and if you're noticing the other things like the security patch is latest of september 5th 2020 not quite october yet of course and we have the dirt faced build date over here 30th september 2020 and the baseband version and the stock kernel over here is perf g kernel and we do have this google camera go as the stock camera over here so you can take normal or basic pictures with this camera let's check the front camera yes the front camera is actually working as you can see and i have also this like beautify mode or smooth touching mode or something here you can go to the settings as you can see the face enhanced mode is there let me switch to the back camera now and here of course we also have this face enhanced mode for the back camera as well but i don't know how can i switch to the other camera lenses with this so i'll try to install other google cameras for that but for now let me just go to the system panel here we do not yet have any system updater as you can see so that's how it is but it will be definitely added in the future updates but right now we have to like manually update it and if you do not know how to manually update roms you can click on the card right there and inside gestures we do have this system navigation gesture of course and in the settings we of course have this left edge right edge settings and we have two and three button navigation too here so that is good and this like android 10's gestures are working fine which is of course right now of android 11's and in the recent panel let me actually go here and as you can see there is this screenshot option so yeah you can right now take screenshot straight up from the quick settings panel that is very cool and you can select anything like the texts over here you can select these just from here so yeah these are like very interesting feature of android 11 and these are working fine here so that is cool and we have the front camera sound effects you can put the sound to disable and camera led you can disable that too and the default keyboard as it looks like is gboard and of course the like google play services and stuff is pre-included in the rom file itself that is why we have play store and stuff working totally fine and i did not need to flash g apps over here again like if you are confused about that you do not have to flash any g apps for this rom because it is pre-included in the rom file itself let's go into the security here we do have the fingerprint option now so right now let me just put my finger over here let's see if it registers and works successfully so setting up the fingerprint is done right now let me just okay so no double tap to sleep i guess so that is why i press the power button to lock right now and as you can see let me do it again as you can see it locks and unlocks very fast over here let me show you from the lock screen itself i put my finger and as you can see it unlocks let's try with the left hand thumb and as you can see yes there is a little bit of animation glitch that i can notice but i don't notice any flickering or something over here now let me place a call over here to see if the vault is actually working okay so as you can see the vault call should be working actually fine and yes it is placing the call pretty fine no issues with that okay so the stock launcher is still pixel launcher here and on this we do have this google's discover page to the left Swiping up gets you to the app drawer and there is some suggestions which I think we can disable of course. I'll do that later on and okay so there was something popping out. I don't know what. I just closed it and of course you can go to the quick settings panel just by swiping down as you can see. Right now let me just go to the sounds and see what else is inside. Okay so we do have the me audio Dirac. I don't know if it should work really well but yeah the option is there it should work pretty fine and yeah 
you do get me audio direct already so that is cool and you can disable the screen locking sound charging sound touch vibration etc those are great and we also have this vibrate for calls and stuff and this is how the volume panel looks like by default and you can also expand it just like this and this panel is not like taking the whole screen so that is good in the display settings we have brightness level night light let's see if the night light works so yeah it works makes the display yellowish and screen timeout is there and i of course have it to 30 minutes for no reason here we have colors set to boosted and we also have this lock screen settings always on display i think you can disable that always show time and info that is always on display i am assuming here and wake screen for notification is there if you want that double tap to wake did work i tried that and no double tap to sleep i guess as of right now here we have font size display size dpi changing option and also the dc dimming mode is there so that is cool dark theme you can enable and of course the dark theme should work fine you can schedule that too if you tap on this clock style it's gonna just force close as you can see the settings just force closed so yeah you cannot really go to this clock style right now but you can change the accent colors as you can see there is this ios blue and then green and stuff let me pull it to green and see okay so the accent color did change so the accent color should be working fine already headline and body fonts we have this default then this zilla slab lato then source and pro and then rubik font and stuff is there and then icon shapes you can change to these many icon shapes and you can also change to icon packs like from those four icon packs inside battery this is how it should look like and here you can enable battery percentage of course there is no cycles for the battery yet but yeah i think they will be like added in the future updates but right now no battery temperature showing up over here it just shows the screen on time over here last full charge and the 18 watt fast charging should be working fine you can tap over here to see the full battery usage and there is the option for wi-fi calling but i'm not enabling that because i don't wanna f anything up Wi-Fi calling is buggy, the developer has mentioned over here. And inside security, you won't find any face unlock as of right now. I don't expect that as of right now because it has been removed from even Pixel's devices like the Pixel 4a and even the Pixel 5. So yeah, I am not expecting face unlock this soon, but yeah, they might be added in the future updates. The DRM info shows as level 1 here, so that means you can stream Netflix or Amazon Prime videos in 1080p, but the bad news is the safety net cdus simply does not pass so you cannot use banking apps like google pay right out of the box here you have to use magisk and then use that magisk hide to use any other banking apps and also some of them might not work as well and by the way this is how the stock wallpaper looks like looks very cool in my opinion the previous wallpaper which i showed on the whole video was from the like previous rom that i was using which is the pixel extended it backed up from that that is uh, ios wallpaper but this is the stock wallpaper of this dark faced community build of android 11. let me show you the app open up speeds over here right now as you can see chrome i just opened it let's go to home let's open facebook just notice the app opening of speeds and even the ram management over here is really good the app opening of speeds especially is like very very cool as you can see and from the recent panel if i go over here and if I pull down the notification panel, as you can see, the background blur actually looks very cool. Whenever I'm pulling down the quick settings panel, just notice the background blur. Also, you can trigger Google Assistant just by doing this. And as you can see, the animations looks really beautiful over here, everywhere on Android 11. I'm just like liking it over here. It does this like very cool, a little bit of glitchy animation whenever you are doing this. So yeah. This is actually a really cool feature and even on the home screen it does appear as you can see very amazing looking like ui in my opinion the android 11 is already running very well on the redmi k20 pro so that's been it guys that's how you flash the latest android 11 rom on the redmi k20 pro i'll be daily driving with it and i'll update it like from time to time and i'll make a complete review about this like android 11 rom how was my experience so stay tuned for that for future and this is tito from kd index signing off for today give this video a thumbs up if you liked it subscribe to our channel if you have not yet and do share this video out with your friends if you like this video of course i'll be watching you guys in the next one Bye bye now